Neighborhood Health Watch is sponsored by the doctors of HCA Virginia. Well, it can be a difficult decision for a parent to make. Should we take our child to an emergency room? And if so, where? It's become a bit of an issue now that the enterovirus has swept through the nation, forcing kids to be hospitalized for long periods of time. And here to talk about those decisions is Dr. Kevin Conley with Chippenham Pediatric ER. Uh, Dr. Conley, thank you for being here. You're welcome. Uh, and you kind of, we were talking about enterovirus before you went on the air, right. and you kind of talked about you're seeing it. Not a real big surprise for you to see the impact that this is having, but it begs that question, when do you need to take your kid to the emergency room? I think an emergency room is an important place for children to go, especially if they're having urgent or emergent issues. Mm -hmm. So broken bones, uh, trouble breathing, severe abdominal pain, those kinds of things should be seen in an emergency room. Things that can be seen in an urgent care center or your doctor's office are th the more less urgent things. Pink eye, ear infections, mm -hmm. sore throat, cold kind of symptoms. Right, and maybe a lot of people don't realize this though, you have a choice in which emergency room you could, should go to. What does a pediatric emergency room offer that maybe a traditional emergency room wouldn't? Typically are staffed by people that are trained in pediatrics or in pediatric emergency medicine. The nurses have pediatric training. The equipment is made for children um, and it's set up more for families. Uh, to make it a more pleasant environment because it's a scary thing to take your child to an emergency room. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you when you decide to make that decision to go to take your child to an, a, an emergency room, you mentioned already the tools and the and the and the people, but how do they treat the families as they come in? Obviously, families are probably pretty scared having to bring their child into that setting. Absolutely. It's one of the things I like about being a pediatrician is that I'm taking care of children obviously, but I'm treating the whole family. Right. Um, helping the parents understand what's going on. I mean, they're bringing me their most prized possession to try to take care of, and that's a, that's a big honor and responsibility. So we're trying to make sure that the parents understand what's going on, making them feel comfortable, making sure they understand what's going on and what to expect. All right, great. Dr. Kevin Connolly, thank you so much for being here. You're really welcome. good insight. Thank you.